As the stakes get higher for their client, maybe even for themselves, new reports show the tension between them is boiling over. With one reporter, who will join us in a moment, literally hearing them squabble and point fingers at a restaurant. The team has been Jim Trusty, who you just saw there on CNN, Evan Corcoran, the colleague he referenced, who just testified in front of the grand jury, Chris Kyes, former Florida Solicitor General, Joe Tacopina, who handled the E. Jean Carroll case and is involved in the New York indictment, Tim Parlatori, who just quit the team, and Boris Epstein, who longtime Donald Trump confidant. Epstein has been part of Trump's inner circle for nearly a decade. He served on the Trump White House, was a key player in Trump's ill-fated push to get the 2020 election overturned. And reportedly, the fact that he's been in Trump's camp so long has put him at the top of the heap, even though his legal credentials don't compare to those of many of his colleagues. So there's been this long simmering turmoil, to say the least, as was reported by The Guardian's Hugo Lowell, who literally sat next to them in a restaurant. Lowell spotted Trusty fuming to Chris Kyes and another colleague about Epstein. Trusty loudly complained about having to run legal decisions by Epstein, who he believed to be more concerned about Trump's PR than about the legal issues at play. He blasted Epstein for the, quote, Game of Thrones nonsense he created within the team. Trusty also blasted Kyes for his handling of a court argument, part of what led to Kyes being demoted to handling civil cases on the Trump team. Bottom line, it seems like it's chaos. Joining us now is Hugo Lowell, political investigations reporter for The Guardian, who's been covering Trump's legal team for more than a year. He snapped a picture you saw there. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Appreciate it. So describe what you saw, when it happened, and why you decided to report on it now. Yeah, you know, this came last September when the Trump team uh, was busy trying to get a special master to go through the, the documents that the FBI had seized from Mar-a-Lago uh, when they uh, went down with a search warrant in August. And after the f initial court appearance, the lawyers went back to their hotel, and I had a tip that they were staying at the Breakers Hotel in Palm Beach, and I figured they would, they would need to get dinner at some point, and so I kind of made my way over there. And it was pure luck that the, uh, that the waitress ended up putting me next to them at the, at the table next to them in the corner of this uh, seafood bar. And over the course of about an hour, uh, Jim was basically talking about all of his frustrations with his legal team, with the legal strategy. And, you know, I didn't really understand the significance of what he was saying at the time. You know, I wasn't sure if it was just a bad day or if he was venting. But when you look at it now, in the wake of Tim Parlatore's recent departure, in the wake of all of these lawyers being subpoenaed or, you know, testifying to the grand jury, uh, you kind of see the long-standing tension that has been the undercurrent of this legal team and how it kind of threatens to undermine all of their defense work. Well, I was going to say, I would think that many of the lawyers being called to testify isn't helping uh, the relationships. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's extraordinary. I mean, I mean, Boris Epstein, uh, who effectively leads the legal team as the in-house counsel for Trump, you know, recently had a proffer session with uh, special counsel prosecutors in the January 6th case. You know, Evan Corcoran testified and had his notes uh, of kind of his contemporaneous uh, notes about the search for classified documents that he undertook uh, be given to the grand jury. Uh, Tim Palatori has testified to the grand jury. I mean, the the extent of the legal ex potential legal exposure for some of these lawyers themselves is is in and of itself, I think, an element of the story that is underreported, and we just don't see in other cases. And it's, I think, purely uh, kind of an element of of Trump's legal team being so at each other's throats and uh, so kind of mired in distrust. But, but this is a critical time, right? I mean, you know, it does seem to be pointing towards likely indictments in Fulton County, Georgia. That likely wouldn't maybe come till August. But even before then, the, the federal special counsel sure seems to be moving forward. Is the Trump team ready for this? You know, it's, it's a good question. I mean, look, <laughs> you have multiple lawyers here who have their own lawyers, right? The joke uh, in, in some legal circles has been that MAGA actually stands for make attorneys, get attorneys. You know, all these lawyers have their own lawyers. Um, I think the most consequential part of this story is how some of the lawyers supposedly representing Trump now may have very divergent goals and divergent interests from their actual client. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider.
And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.